it's time to talk about the rank choice voting experiment and show you how it is a passing fad. Rank choice voting, or RCV, also known as instant runoff voting, or IRV, will be used interchangeably through this presentation. Rank choice voting was used in several U.S. cities in the early 1900s. Rank choice voting was quickly scrapped in favor of majority rule and other election reforms. So now let's take a look at the use of rank choice voting in modern U.S. history. Ann Arbor, Michigan was the first to use ranked choice voting in modern times, and they were the first to repeal it as well. Moving on to Cary, North Carolina, they first experimented with instant runoff voting in 2007. In a survey of voters, 22% said they did not understand instant runoff voting at all. This is pretty amazing because Cary has the highest number of PhDs per capita in the United States. There were many articles published in North Carolina talking about the problems with instant runoff voting, and in the end, they just said, no more. Cary, North Carolina dumped instant runoff voting because winners won with less than a majority. A council member said, I'll take integrity in elections over funny map and 30% confusion any day. They soon went back to the traditional elections and never looked back. Burlington, Vermont was next, and they used instant runoff voting in one election in 2006 and used it again in 2009. The winner did not receive a majority support of the voters that day, and a University of Vermont study shows that many flaws were present in this ranked choice voting election. It didn't take long for the city to realize that they needed to repeal instant runoff voting. The repeal was successful in March of 2010. Meanwhile, in Glendale, Arizona, a suburb of Phoenix, they rejected instant runoff voting by a margin of 65% to 35%, a resounding defeat. Moving to the Pacific Northwest in Pierce County, Washington, they first used ranked choice voting in 2008 and spent nearly $2 million on it. They found they had a much lower turnout with ranked choice voting and one candidate was elected with only 37% support. Ranked choice voting was repealed by 72% in 2009. Aspen, Colorado was next to experiment with ranked choice voting and held two elections in 2009. They found that in one election, a candidate would have won if he received less first place votes. And both of the candidates won with less than a majority support. The election was also subject to a very expensive lawsuit. For an investigative report on this election, you can go to tinyurl.com forward slash rcv hyphen Aspen. The voters in Aspen, after experiencing instant runoff voting in a couple of elections, ultimately repeal it by a vote of 65% to 35%, another overwhelming margin. Moving to the south, towards Memphis and Shelby, Tennessee, they rejected a ranked choice voting charter change in November of 2010 by another huge margin, 63% to 37%. Moving to San Francisco, they've been using ranked choice voting since 2004. And over 20 elections has resulted in winners with less than 50% support. There's been nasty campaigns, most recently a quarter of a million dollar hit piece at the very last minute. And in 2010, a supervisor was elected with just 24% support. Recently, the San Francisco Chronicle has reported on a repeal effort. They state that business and labor types are eyeing a repeal of the ranked choice voting system. They've done a survey to see how the voters feel about ranked choice voting. Only about half claim some level of familiarity with ranked choice voting. The bottom line, only one in five voters had a strong opinion one way or the other. It's only a matter of time 
before ranked choice voting gets repealed in San Francisco. So you've now seen how ranked choice voting is another passing fad. As someone once said, ranked choice voting is like asbestos. It seemed like a good idea at the time.